realize how important this also is. Like, yes, all these inner pictures that we can also add into Qigong and that we, we do also in the Huichun, they are helpful, they are very good tools. But what is in the end, the secret of the Qigong is the doing, you know, and do it long. So if someone asks me now, okay, Bagua, how do I start my Neigong? How do I go serious into Neigong? I would not say, imagine this and that and that. I would say, walk two hours in one piece. And then another day, walk four hours in one piece. And you, trust me, you will feel there is something happening if you do this a couple of days. Yeah, if you, if you keep doing, there is, you have directly feedback of there is something transforming in my body. There's something changing. If I walk like this for, for one hour, like there you have really the Qigong effects, you know, and you feel them really, you feel the Neigong. It doesn't mean that when I walk 10 minutes, this is not happening. It's just, I don't have this, this, this result and feeling so strong because I, I put less into this, you know, and, and it's very subtle what is happening. It's subtle things that are happening. But when I, when I do this in a long time, the settled things become very big suddenly and very obvious that are happening. And this is why in shorter times, we don't feel the Qigong so obvious. And then people ask me, where is the Qigong? Where is the Neigong of Bagua? How do I do that? You know, but if you would do it long, you would know without asking what is happening there and why it's, why it's activating the, the um, cosmic orbit in the body yeah, and opening your, your spine and everything. Um, yeah, so this is also why in this Qigong teacher training, I think it's good if you, you know, take a lot of time for these things, stand a bit more than usually, walk a bit more than usually, that you have a bit these experiences of, ah, okay, if I walk a bit longer, it feels suddenly a bit different. And that you miss the time, maybe build up this curiosity. Okay, now I was walking half an hour. What is when I walk one hour? How does this feel? No, but this only happens if you have a bit this, sometimes these experiences of a bit longer that you feel like, ah, oh, wow, it was interesting. And then you get more interested and this is how you start to train longer. And I think this is also the best way to, 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 to learn to train longer, not someone force you or you force yourself. I have to train now two hours, but you yourself kind of get curious because you have these small experiences. Wow, cool, it's felt very nice. What is happening then? And then after you do this, what is happening then? You know, and and, and discover like this your body, and discover like this um, bagua and and the, the qigong that is behind bagua. And this is like like in the step work we did now that I told you. Step and in the transition, see that you not create tension. Because this makes you unstable. It's the same principle. Do your position release and see that in the transition to the next position, you're not suddenly establish tension in your body again. And this sounds so easy and maybe clear, but it's, it's an art. It's an art to, to change from one position to the next without re-establishing your habit of tension, of creating tension in movement, okay? So this is why uh, it's now a very basic exercise, something we do almost every Bagua class, I mean, the, this, this movements but still do it with another mindset. Yeah? 